Alright, we're back with some Infernus. This time we're going for the maximum burn build, which I will put right about now. Bam. Okay, nice. It's there. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> I started doing this because even though Infernus doesn't scale very well with spirit power, he does scale well enough to the point that it is just funny when you just watch someone burn. So we're going to see that a few times this game. But yeah, for now we're just doing the regular laning versus McGinnis, which could be... I feel like McInnes, McInnes, but in a solo lane isn't that bad. The problem is that when you have McInnes in a duo lane and you just feel so oppressed, like you can't, like you just get damaged no matter what you do. God forbid there's like a bebop or something like that, so you can never like poke your face out yet because bebop will just, you know, suck you into the oblivion. Uh, classic bebop behavior. But yeah, trying to get some pokes out on this McGinnis right now. She isn't too aggressive, which is nice. I mean, she's doing her best. McGin Apparently, McGinnis is kind of weak early on. I've not really played McGinnis, so I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I don't know. I've seen them do decently well, but only in dual lane. When they're by themselves, it's like eh, a little bit hairy. Yeah, so the first thing we buy is the high velocity bullets because I like trying to proc my burn from far away and it is just a lot easier when your bullets, you know, don't need to be led as much. Now the thing is, Infernus' burn, the afterburn passive on his three does decrease with weapon fall off range. So like if you try to poke somebody with your finger guns from far away you'll realize that your afterburn doesn't proc as easily that's because the percent buildup does scale down so keep that in mind yeah now mcginnis is getting a little a little bit too spicy mcginnis kind of tired of shit i'm going definitely gonna proc my afterburn and that's the thing right like that's what you do with Infunus, I've realized, is you just proc the burn, try to keep it up. If you can't keep it up, then sad face. Because it only takes one bullet to reproc it, right? But right now, McInnes is caught out. I don't think she expected that I could just kill her at any time if she is caught out. And she went for a cheeky melee, but that was not the move. Getting some slides in to extend our ammo. Always remember that, like, all the ramps in this game are, like, strategically placed so that you could basically just abuse them and you just like slide up slide down slide up slide down and then you slide you run back up slide down you know you get the point and right right here mcginnis is again not respecting the fact that i could just kill her by the way the reason she is dying is because i right there i was 2.5k souls compared to her 1k souls if your enemy lena has that much of an advantage over you, please do not push them. You will just die on repeat. Um, I've noticing a lot of people just don't respect that. Even like my teammates, I'll be like, mm, I see you going in. I don't think this is going to go very well for you. I, I know it's hard, right? Because you want to like push. You want to try to get, you know, try to reduce your disadvantage. I guess I even get an advantage in this situation. But yeah, that is not going to work out for you. So, so where team fight breaks out over approximately nothing, I was like, why is everybody here? Um, it was very strange. But the thing is, seven alts, but seven sits in my uh, in my flame dash, so it takes a ton of damage, but it doesn't really amount to much. We're kind of just like trying to defend the guardian, but I don't think it's gonna work out for us right now. As you think too, I I'm very guilty of this. I will try to stay and protect the Guardian way too long. And right now, if you're in Funas and you get CC'd, you will die. Especially if you don't have your Flame Dash, which I did not have. So that was 100% my fault, by the way. Nobody else to blame. Can't rage on the mic, which I would never do. But you know, some people do. <laughs> uh, don't do that. Yeah. Here's what I'm talking about with the Slayer, the Slayer sliding, the Slayer sliding, whatever. English is hard, right? <laughs> Almost get the Guardian. It might die to my burn. It does not. And I see right now I'm being ganked, so I just like do a cheeky run away. What's weird though is that they they like running through my flame dash. Which never never do that. I could um, I could almost kill the two of them now. Because I'm still at full HP. 
I have some Spirit Life Steel. Right now we have uh, Duration Extender. We have some other thing. No, I'm kidding. We have Infusa. We have Extra Spirit. Yeah, so like 100% like just don't run through Infinity's Dash ever. You will be a lot better off for it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Infunus, if you didn't know, Infunus could jungle really easily. Even the tier 2, is what I'm calling them, the tier 2 uh, jungle monsters. That's good to know, because you they, they give like 800 souls. So you should do them every time you see them, basically, as Infunus, because you just get a free 800 souls. And then, don't be like me and proceed to die. But right now, <laughs> Dynamo ults, but he ults in my flame dash. So he just burns to death. And that's what I'm talking about. Like the burning just feels so good. Uh, that's a sentence that will be definitely used in court. All right. Well, anyways, um, I don't know why it'd be used in court. I've never committed a crime, probably. So yeah, anyways, trying to just assist my team here. Uh, we get ward off. McGinnis ran away, probably for the best. But you see how long my burn lasts for? McGinnis almost died to the burn. Uh, kind of-ish. Yeah, right now, oh, I, I did skip like all the parts where like approximately nothing happens <laughs> because, you know, there's, there's, you know, at some point you, you get a little bit tired of watching leaning, but yeah, seven goes in on me. He knows he could stun me and murder me. This seven is very fed, by the way. It's more fed than me, but influence is a very good 1v1 when he has his alt up. So I just run away and I am just spirit life stealing this guy's life away. And for some reason, he chases me in my flame dash. It was very odd. And I just hit him with the hub because I was also very confused at this point. Yeah, right now we're trying to take the walker. It's important to remember always, you know, group four objectives. You don't want to group while you're farming because then you're just wasting resources, right? Like if, if all four lanes are pushed up and you cannot, um effectively or safely then you might as well like try to do the jungle or i don't know you maybe you group but there, there usually is some jungle stuff up right like this is the kind of thing where like you talk about the macro of the game like understanding the flow of the map and all that fun stuff but yeah we see here seven flanker seven is a little bit out of position he is burning so hard right now our burn does like 500 damage uh, that seven is just dead because I reproc the boon. Very nice, very nice. Ah, uh, that, mm, I love it. But right here, Ibrams just like bitch slaps me, and I spirit life spiel my way to success. Thank God, because we were almost dead, but we are definitely dead. But not before we take out Vilash. Yeah, I think we would. If our uh, uh, flame dash came up in time, we would have probably been able to escape. Yeah, now we have warp stone and we have fleet footwork so we could actually you know do some cheeky plays where people think they could catch you but they actually can't it's kind of funny is abram is just abusing my bebop please stop i don't like that you're doing that oh he's going fun i'll try to dash out to the way for the alt i it was, in retrospect it was a little bit overkill because he was never gonna go for me anyways i'm like on top you know, I have a height advantage, which you'd think you would, because Infunus, when Infunus is stunned, <laughs> Infunus just dies immediately. Um, even though he has high base HP and you often build tanky, we didn't really build tanky. Like we have heal being because we have the Infunus, uh, not the Infunus. We have his and we have Ibrams. They heal a shit ton. Lash, also, Lash literally has healing in his kit as well. Uh, I don't remember if this 7 went the spirit, lifesteal, full on alt build, but in that case, you could just shoot 7 in his alt and you will just kill him. Right here, I noticed that he is invisible on the line. Look at how long he is burns for. He is almost dies to like nothing. Ah, so close. Yeah, I should have actually been helping with the mid boss, not trying to do a silly play on Hayes, but it was fun. Ah, if only we had gotten that Hayes, that would have been a much stronger push because the death timers almost half now into the game are really long. But here we get a rejuvenator. Dynamo tries to steal it, but he cannot. And Dynamo is a very good stealer because he has double knockup. Right, so 
You have to keep in mind people CC when you're going for the Rejuvenator. Infernus is as well because Infernus has like a giant AoE stun. But, you know, somebody like, for example, Yamato could alt. All about the countering. You can use Ethereal Shift, by the way, to like get out of she CC. I don't, I didn't build Ethereal Shift because there's no place for that in the balloon build. I mean, there is, but not when you're trying to just go full on damage like I did. Yeah, right here, we're in a team fight. We're trying to end the game. Will we be able to do it? Yes, because they kind of just sit in my fire. Dude. Yeah, McGinnis is trying to do her best, I suppose. Um, she's just burning right now, but she's also uh, life stealing at the same time. So it's not as impressive. But you can see how long she's been burning for right now. Uh, it's kind of insane. And we proc the burn again. Try to get not get walled. Right here, by the way, I run away. Because I know that they have teammates that are up and I don't want to get caught out. That's why. Because I know that I'm with a ton of souls. I don't really know how the, the comeback mechanic works yet. I really wish I'd, I need to look this up. And if somebody knows, please let me know in the comments. Like, how, like, do you get like a bounty on you? The game doesn't really see. So I just assume there's something like that. Because I noticed that the soul count is usually even no matter what. Uh, it's rare that I, even when I'm winning, I'm just like, they, it, it doesn't feel like a stomp, you know? Like, it's very rare. When I'm losing, it doesn't feel like a stomp. When I'm winning, it doesn't feel like a stomp. Right here, this McGinnis kind of just burns to death. Very nice. That's what we're building this for. At this point, as long as we don't get CC'd, we don't die, by the way. Infernus is kind of ridiculous late game if you manage to get like a ton of healing and nobody has heal bane. I think somebody on their team has heal bane, but I don't remember who. But right here, we managed to chase this Erums so far. <laughs> so far. This is why you buy warp stone, by the way, because you kind of just are inescapable. I don't think... I That had to be so triggering <laughs> because he tried so hard to get away. Not today, though. Right here, again, Dynamo ults in my flame dash. So Dynamo kind of just burns to death. Um, yeah, four, uh, three man ult, but it is not enough. I tried to, wa I warp stoned into his. And if I didn't do that, I we would have won the game because I wouldn't have died this way where I just kind of get slapped in the back of the head by Abrams. Very embarrassing. Uh, I didn't even die to a slap. I actually died to like a shot to the back of the head. Uh... It was a suicide, I guess. Okay, right there again, Abram just caught. Oh, he tries to go for the stun. I tried to parry, but it did not work out very well. I don't... Like, what was that above our head? That was weird. There was, like, some sort of debuff. Right here, I missed the parry. It's kind of hot, and I couldn't parry again, so, you know, whatever. But he dies because he's out of position severely. And that's the thing, right? Like... That Abrams is the most fed person on their team. He he could literally carry the game, but instead he was, I don't know what he was doing, split pushing? I guess? Not really sure. But right here, this is a demonstration of the, the life stealer. <laughs> My HP just refuses to go down. I want I, I'm honestly wondering if the um life steal in this game is a little bit too much because it does feel ridiculous. Especially Yamato, like. Yamato is impossible to catch, especially if they buy Refresher. Ooh, I'm getting kind of slapped by an Abram, so it didn't matter because he died. Yeah, Yamato, when they have Refresher, so they could just refresh their ultimate, is insane. I hate... <laughs> Yamato is my least favorite hero by far just because of that, because of the invulnerability. Yeah, right there, Bebop got like a double bomb. Oof. That was kind of sexy. And at this point, the enemy is kind of just wiped. So we are all good to go. But I hope you all enjoyed this build. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely not as good in terms of survivability, but it is. I find it so fun to just have way too much damage. I don't know. I mean, there's no ranked yet, so I don't really care about my rank or anything like that. It, purely just in terms of like fun per second. You know, you rate of fun. Um, F is for fun. 
F is for friend. Okay. Um, yeah. At this point, we win the game. Are we just doing the usual of waiting for them to spawn and they're all spawning in staggered, you know, a staggered manner. So, like, it's easy for us to kind of just, like, kill them one by one. And that's this is when, like, the game just ends, right? Because, ooh, here's out. Warp stone to get out of the here's out. Very nice. I get my ult off, so he is kind of just dies. I remember by warp stone. I know warp stone. Warp stone first of all gives you like thirty percent, I believe, um, bullet resistance when you warp. So like you automatically become tanky. It gives you weapon damage. It is such a good. It, I think it is might be the best item that and the ethereal shift. Maybe metal skin as well. I don't know. All the actives. The actives are way too good. So make sure you be buy, you're buying the actives. Where we win the game there, we close it out nice and clean. 14 minutes of what I consider to be hella fun. Yeah. So the build will be right here. And I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do any particular heroes or builds or just wacky stuff. Because I realize why why are we not just doing wacky stuff? Everybody's so concerned about like their rank and their MMR. I'm just like the fuck is this who cares i mean it's nice to be ra high ranked but you know it's more it's more important to have fun i suppose all right anyways yeah you guys take care and i'll see you soon all right